Let's look more closely at uh, the electric flux through a closed surface. So this is a closed surface. Remember a closed surface separates space into two parts, an inside and an outside. And you can't go from one side to the other without hitting the surface at some point. So it completely seals this region and you call it an inside, inside and you there, as opposed to the outside. We said that the area vectors by definition have to point from inside to outside. So they, this is, these are some of the representative area vectors for this particular shape. Now let's look at a problem where you have an electric field. Remember, this surface is completely imaginary. It doesn't exist in reality. You're the one who creates this surface in your mind to solve a particular problem or to write down Gauss's law, but it does not exist. It has not made of any material. It's not made of any material. It doesn't have any charge, nothing. It's just an abstract mathematical construction. So what if you put this mathematical construction this abstract uh, closed surface in a region where there's an electric field. So you have electric field vectors pointing here like that. And let's look what happens when the electric field vector goes into the surface. For instance, this element of area that's highlighted in yellow, let's zoom in over here at this element of area and see what's happening. Now the area vector, it points this way it points perpendicular to the surface and it points this way. It doesn't point this way inside because remember the area vector has to go from inside to outside. So the area vector in the locations where the electric field line is going into the surface, the angle between the area vector and electric field is bigger than 90 degrees. And so when you get the dot product, the electric flux of the electric field and the area vector for these kinds of surfaces where the electric field line is going into the surface, you get a negative value look at an element of area where the electric field line is going out of the surface, like this element of area that's highlighted in yellow here, let's zoom in and see what's happening for that element of area. The, the direction of the area vector is pointing this way, not this way, because it has to point from inside the area to outside the area. And that means that the angle between the electric field and area vector is less than 90 degrees. When that's the case, then the dot product, the electric flux E dot dA for this element of area is positive. If it happens to be that there's an element of area such that the electric field line just basically grazes the surface. So that means if you look at in this element of area and zoom in, the electric field and area vectors just happen to be at 90 degrees to each other for this element of area. Then in that case, the electric flux through this element of area is just zero. The dot product is zero. So in general, this just shows that whenever the electric field lines go out of the surface, the contribution is positive to the electric flux. When the electric field lines go into the surface, the contribution to electric flux is negative. And the way we write down the electric flux through a closed surface is we put a circle on the, on the integration sign. So whenever you see this circle on the integration sign, it means that the surface is a closed surface. And immediately you will notice that this integration is exactly the integration that's used in Gauss's law. That's why we've been, we've been building up to reach this point. So also notice that when you write down uh, integration of E dot dA like this with the circle, it, it contains in it so much information. So let's summarize all this information that it contains. First thing is the surface, is the circle. What the circle means is that you're integrating over a closed surface of any shape. Second thing is that area is a vector. And we've seen before how the area vectors, how to define them, that they have to point from inside to outside. And the electric field that we're writing down here is the total electric field due to all charges in the universe. This is what the electric integration of E dot dA is through this surface. And remember, it, it's not imp enough to know this equation, though just knowing that integration of E dot dA, the equation itself, it's not that important, it's not, doesn't tell you everything. You have to understand all these subtle details to be able to understand this equation in detail, in, in better, in more in depth. 